Hello everyone and welcome to my review for Chainsaw Man Chapter 84. This is probably one of the biggest twist info dump chapters that we've gotten in the entire series. And has a lot of serious implications for the rest of Chainsaw Man going forward. For however long that may be, it's still very unclear whether or not we're close to the end of the series or not. I still think we're probably like in or approaching the last arc. Uh, but before I get into that, I want to talk about something from last week's chapter. So last week, we got the reveal of all of these fiends who were named after the various angels in the hierarchy. And I had thought that there were three of them that didn't have names based on the angels, that being Beam, Galgalee, and Prince. Uh, but someone by the name of Bloody Claws commented on my video, and I'm going to put most of that comment up here in the video, you could go check out the whole thing uh, in my review for chapter 83, but this is pretty much the meat of it. Um, so, the three of them that do not have obvious angel names actually have either partial versions of the names or alternate versions of the names. So, Galgali is apparently an alternate version uh, for the name of the thrones, which I believe are in the third triad. Uh, then you have Prinz, who is the first part of Principalities, and then Beam, who is the last syllable of Cherubim. So that's all very interesting. And the other stuff that they talk about in this chapter, uh, in this comment, uh, are very interesting as well. Uh, it's of note that the only one that seems to be missing is the Dominions. And you will recall um, that there is another character who is once called the Devil of Domination, or, you know, Dominion, or Control. Yeah, it's Makima, of course. So Makima would complete that uh, Choir of the Angels. So that's very interesting. Uh, now, getting on to this week's chapter, we have found out some fascinating stuff. So, first off, we find out why the devils fear the Chainsaw Devil so much. And that is because when the Chainsaw Devil eats another devil, that devil's name is erased. And all memory of that devil's concept or whatever, the thing that the devil is a fear of, is erased from the minds of all humans. Uh, it's a race from everyone's mind except for Makima for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why as of yet. Um, it may have something to do with her power as the control devil, the ability to... Uh, I really don't know. Maybe it's just because she's always in control. So she can... She, she, because she is in control of her own memory, can remember these things. Um... So everyone forgot about, like, World War II and AIDS and nuclear weapons because the Chainsaw Devil ate the devils of those things, which is fucking insane. Um, now, now, Kishibe doesn't even remember the Nazis. So this is really crazy. Um, so apparently Pochita is very based. Pochita bashed the fashion hell. But, unfortunately, the unintended consequence of that is now everyone except Makima is a Holocaust denier. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so I guess now we'll get into Makima's motivations, which I still feel may not be the complete motivations. Is that she says she's a really big fan of the Chainsaw Devil. And she wants to control him in order to create a better world. Get rid of things like war, death, and hunger. And that's why the Prime Minister of Japan has a contract with her. And we also find out from this contract why Makima never fucking dies. And it's apparently that whenever she's injured or killed, that just turns into misfortune for some random Japanese citizen. Uh, so yeah, that sucks, I guess. Um, now... Why would Makima want to do this? Um, we don't have enough information yet, I guess. It's going to have something to do with wanting control. You, um, by doing this, she would literally be controlling the future of humanity. 
And I assume there's going to be more reason for that, because we still don't know why she wants to create a better world. Though apparently she is she is a fan of the Chainsaw Devil, so uh, I guess it turns out Makimo was the simp all along. Isn't that a fucking Uno reverse card? Who would have seen that coming? Um, but I've seen several people saying with the reveal of this motivation is that, oh, Makima, wow, there actually is no villain. Makima actually does want to make the world a better place by getting rid of all of these these bad concepts and stuff. And to those people, I would say, no, stop, you're being dumb. There are a number of villains with good intentions. You know, like Thanos. <laughs> hey, I'm going to wipe out half the universe so that everyone's life is materially more enjoyable. So, um, Kishibe, not knowing that the Holocaust happened, everyone forgetting about World War II, do you really think that's a good thing that everyone forgot about that? Do you know why we say, like, never forget the Holocaust and stuff? Is because that when you forget really bad shit like this, it's bound to happen again. Because there's then no past to learn from. Now, I don't know how Makima, like, erasing war and hunger. We're getting into really weird meta shit here. Um, but if Makima did, let's say that she makes it impossible for bad things to happen, everyone is going to basically spend the equivalent of staring at a wall for the rest of their lives. Um, in case you're not aware, the negative aspects of life make the positive aspects of life, you know, worthwhile. Because when everything is just positive all the time, it's not really positive, it's just being there. Like, I'm trying to think of a good analogy for it. Hmm, let's see. No, I can't think of a good one. But you, you understand that, like, we need there to be bad parts of our lives in order for life to be worth living. So Makima getting rid of all bad stuff is not good. That would lead to us living in some kind of fucking limbo. It's, it's still bad. Um, now, and of course, don't forget that Makima is still an emotional abuser that literally ruined Denji's life. So she's still got to die for that. What we're probably going to get is something like, oh, the villain actually wants a better world, but they're a huge piece of shit, so fuck the better world. We're going to kill them anyway. That's, I guess that may be where we're going with this. Um, now, Denji comes back from hell, or I guess it's not Denji at the moment, it's the Chainsaw Devil. Uh, and this may be problematic for Kishibe. <laughs> um, because it was just dooming its way through hell. Um, the panels we got of it slaughtering demons is pretty insane. Um, and we got a great double page that's a major callback to the first chapter where Denji is killing all the zombified Yakuza, but now it's the Chainsaw Devil doing it to a bunch of fucking crazy-ass devils in hell. It's crazy. It's a great callback. Um, now, where the fuck are we going with this? Because I was still wondering, like, when, when the Chainsaw Devil form popped out, I was like, all right, guys, where are we going with this? Fujimoto, where are you taking me? Um, so this could go in any direction, really. I think it's possible that Kishibe may fight the Chainsaw Devil, though in this case it would really be more... Kishibe getting killed by the Chainsaw Devil, unless he is super good. Because Kishibe says he's the best Devil Hunter. He's the strongest Devil Hunter out there. Um, so I guess we'll have to see what he can do. And he apparently barely has anything left to trade for his contracts. But, you know, you think Kishibe really gives a shit? He literally said he'd much rather die hunting devils than just, like, rot away with dementia with his pension in some kind of retirement home. Um... So that may happen, but also it seems like we're going to have a Chainsaw Devil versus Makima fight, uh, because Makima said that if she defeats the Chainsaw Devil, she'll be able to control it. And if that happens, then it seems like we're going to have a Chainsaw Devil versus Primal Devil's arc. Because boy, do you want to bet that 
at least death and hunger are primal fears. Maybe not war. Like, war... It depends on what they mean by war. If she means war or conflict. Because conflict... Oh, yeah. That's primal. I mean... As soon as humans possessed, like, sapience, we were fucking beating each other to death with rocks. Uh, hunger, of course. I mean, there are literally billions of people that are hungry all the time. And then death. I mean... Are you shitting me? Like, almost everyone is afraid of dying. Um, and you're lying if you if you don't at least have that little twinge of uncertainty about what happens when your life ends. Uh, so I guess if Makima gets control of the Chainsaw Devil, that's probably the direction we're going in. And if she doesn't, she's just going to get eaten and erased. But apparently she'd be totally into that. Because, you know, big simp for Pachita. Um... In which case, I have no idea where we're going to go if Denji eats Makima. I mean, we still may get a Primal Devil thing, because you had the Hell Devil, like, bringing the Chainsaw Devil into Hell. And if the Chainsaw Devil is, like, manifested back, the Primal Devils are going to be like, all right, we got to teach this kid a lesson or something. Something like that. I don't know. Um, once again, I hope Kishibe doesn't die. They need to fucking kill that Prime Minister guy. Um... The Japanese Prime Minister in Chainsaw Man. I feel like I should specify this. I have no idea if saying they need to kill the Japanese Prime Minister is something that would get me in trouble. If I don't specify... <laughs> if I don't specify that this nameless, fictional Japanese Prime Minister needs to be killed in order to stop Makima. That would be a good idea. Um, and I guess if the Japanese Prime Minister made a contract with her, then I assume most of public safety is aware of her being the control devil. In which case, why are they fighting her? Um, is public safety doing something against the wishes of the Prime Minister? Or has the Prime Minister himself been like, alright, fuck this. Um, I would assume that probably public safety is aware now that Makima is a threat. Um, even if they were already aware that he was, uh, that she was the control devil, it seems like they may have tolerated her for a while because she was useful and didn't, um, overtly pose a threat to humanity. And I would say that she does still, even if her goal, even though there may be more to it than just this, is to make the world a better place. Um, but man, crazy chapter this week. Fantastic chapter, and I'm very, very, very excited to see where this goes. Apparently, uh, Shonen Jump comes out a day earlier next week, so that's exciting. And I think Chainsaw Man's going to have a cover page for Shonen Jump, and some people think there may be an, an anime announcement coming up or something, which I'm like, <sighs> holy shit. I'm very excited if we do get a Chainsaw Man uh, anime. I'm not sure how much they'll do it. It really, really depends on how much longer the series is going on for. Because if Fujimoto does, like, 100 chapters, I could just see them doing, like, a two-core single-season anime. That's super plausible to me. Um, otherwise, if they did, like, 13 episodes, I feel like the season finale would probably be when they did the raid on the Yakuza. Yeah, that sounds like it could be a season finale. Unless they're gonna go really fast-paced. Then it would probably be the Reze arc. Yeah, probably that. Um, but... I guess we'll just have to see. I'm actually very excited for that now. But, um, yeah, that's really all I have left to say. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I do Chainsaw Man reviews every week. If you enjoy discussing Chainsaw Man with other people, or you enjoy the content I do on this channel, you should check out my Discord server. I have a link to it on my channel. Uh, if you enjoy other series such as Record of Ragnarok, Jujutsu Kaisen, Kengen Omega, and Bleach, I do videos on those series as well, so if you're interested, I highly suggest you check out my channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.